girl. It's my pretty girl. Good girl, Mama. Hi, everyone. I'm Angela, the family pet nanny. <laughs> so, as you see, Maxine reacted to my hand. I sat down to Reiki her for a minute, and the minute the energy started flowing through my hand, which it was, it was felt strongly in this hand at first, she just stared at it. Did you see how intently she was like, what is that? And then she went, <laughs> she didn't mean to bite at me, she was just being playful. But her throwing herself like this in the middle and just being belly up is a very good sign that she's accepting of the Reiki. Um, <laughs> Maxine is one of my longtime clients um, and she's a rescue and even though we've been with her for a couple of years now there's only certain places I'm allowed to touch her that she allows you know for a certain amount of time I have to pick her up a certain way or she gets skittish there's all kinds of issues like that that I've had to work uh, through with Maxine yes mom so right now, the fact that she just threw herself in between my legs and is submissive with belly up, that's amazing, you know, because I love her, and she knows that I love her, but um, again, with whatever her past was with other humans, um, there was only certain places she would allow me to touch her. So this is a step in the right direction, that's for sure. Yes, baby. Doing good. She's accepting the Reiki. Good girl, Mama. And if you haven't seen any of my previous videos, um, I will usually tell folks that it's not necessary for me to touch the animal if they are ill, or they're not used to strangers in their home, or if they're, uh, you know, just skittish to begin with, or afraid. I can sit across the room. I can be in another room. Um, Generally, it's better that I'm closer, in my opinion, but it doesn't have to be. And I can also uh, send Reiki to your pets uh, through, <laughs> sorry baby, through a photograph. So if you are not in my area and you would like a Reiki treatment um, for your pet, you can email me a photograph and we can do long distance Reiki. Um, and Yes, baby. Um, I have also reikied uh, the toys or blankets or pet beds of certain clients and people who have brought me their pets or have said, you know, maybe this animal's not going to be okay with you coming into the home. Here's their favorite toy. You know, so I will reiki the toy. And that toy becomes a sense of comfort, a source of comfort for them. So I don't actually have to treat your animal directly, but it does seem to help and go straight to the source when I do, such as Miss Max here. Yes, Mommy, are you enjoying yourself? Are you comfortable? And once the animal displays trust and comfort, um, I just keep letting it flow and, and let it do its thing. Um, I am the vessel for Reiki to flow, so I just let it do what it's going to do for Miss Max and when she's done she'll leave or or do something else um, sometimes they'll, they're still taking the Reiki they're just moving about the room eating a snack playing with a toy Miss Max has walked away from me now because she got distracted by a truck <laughs> uh, and that's okay they can still do what they're going to do as doggies or cats and by the way, uh, since I have not put a video out yet, I do Reiki cats as well. And I will be putting that video up the next time that I see my latest cat client. Or, who knows, there is a gaggle of strays around my neighborhood that are always asking to come sit on my lap. So, they don't realize they're asking for a Reiki treatment. Or maybe they do. Cats love Reiki, that is for sure. Miss Maxie, are you done? I can still feel pulling from my hands. She's not done. She's still taking it. She's just further out of the camera. So I will just sit here and let it flow. I can beam it toward her with the intention that it reaches her. 
So I just wanted to show you guys another quick clip of how I do Reiki treatments with pets in their homes. A lot of people do prefer that I come to their home and I agree because um, especially with a stranger and especially with the Reiki energy it, you know, it can be a little much for the animal, so it's probably best to do it in their home environment where they're at least feeling safe and at home. <laughs> Miss Max is still taking that Reiki energy. I'm so glad. So I can, you know, depending on what the animal wants, I can do anywhere from a 5-minute to a 30-minute treatment. Um, if the animal will not sit for that long or want to be near me that long, like Miss Max has already walked away, I can... Um, you know, work else, work out something else long distance so that, you know, if the animal won't sit here for a whole, a whole half an hour, we can work something else out. And they will still get the benefits of, say, a 30-minute session. All right, Mama? Are you coming back? See, I'm still sniffing those hands. Say, what's going on with those hands? What's going on with those hands, Miss Maxie? Are you ready to go outside and play fetch? You yeah. Miss Maxie. I love you. I bought her some bubbles and I bought her some balls. So she's been real happy since Chachi and I have been here playing bubbles and fetch with her. She loves bubbles. It makes me laugh to see her watch uh, chase bubbles. Oh, that's a good girl. And see, even right now, she's accepting the Reiki energy from me. And she's comfortable. She's licking my arm. That's a good girl. She's a good girl. That's a good girl. But I hope this helps you in discovering a little bit more of how Reiki for Pets goes. If you have any interest in getting a Reiki treatment for your own cat, dog, bird, whatever you may have, email me at familypetnanny at gmail.com. You can also find me on Instagram, Family Pet Nanny. You can also find me on Facebook, slash Family Pet Nanny. And you can email me and let me know about your pets. Send me a photograph. And we will try to do the best course of treatment for your pet. Take care. Bye.